we are taking this circus on the road today. So the goal today is we are going to visit three. This spit. We are going to visit three fast food franchises to try out their coffee. Now they all claim to have the best coffee. I have had all three coffees, but not at the same time. Today, we're going to try all three. We're going to compare all three and we're finally going to pick a winner. So stick with me while I hit three drive throughs Can I have a medium coffee with one milk, please? Can I get a medium coffee, one milk, please? Can I get a medium coffee with one milk, please? All right, guys, we are back with our coffee. McDonald's, the Canadian staple, that's Tim Hortons, and Starbucks. Let's go with presentation first. Very festive holiday cup. Uh, Tim's with a green Canadian flag. And Starbucks is festive as well. Let's talk cost. McDonald's, $1.85. This is a medium coffee. Tim Hortons, $1.85. Medium coffee. Starbucks, $2.78. This too is a medium coffee. Not quite sure why it's more. Give you a little pro tip. All the lids have a latch back on them except for the Starbucks. So if you push the tab back, it'll latch in the top. Don't do that. Push it in. That way, when you're driving around or walking around, you don't spill this precious beverage that's inside. Tim Hortons, you can do the same thing with. Starbucks, well, it's just got a hole in the top. For 278, I thought it got a little more than just a hole in the top. All three coffees come with milk. That's the way I drink my coffee, so let's see what we got. That's pretty good coffee. That's McDonald's. That's usually always good coffee. The Canadian staple, Tim Hortons. The usual. Now the expensive coffee. This one's got a bit of a nutty flavor to it. This one's kind of weak. If I have to pick a favorite, it's going to have to be the McDonald's coffee. So the Starbucks has a bit of a nutty flavor to it, which is a pretty good flavor. It's also a Pike's Peak, they call it. That's the brand of the coffee. The advantage that Starbucks has is they grind and brew their coffee right on site. Tim Hortons obviously comes pre-packaged. Now, Tim Hortons has their own roast. McDonald's also has their own roast. Interesting side note, and I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I did hear it from a reliable source. At some point during the 80s, Tim Hortons changed the roast. Their old roast was sold to McDonald's. That's the rumor. That's the rumor. And here in Canada, you can find any of these coffee places on pretty much every street corner. For some reason here in Canada, we, we like our coffee. Again, McDonald's. That's just a good cup of coffee. For being the Canadian staple, which you can find at Tim Hortons on every corner in every town, McDonald's has got the better coffee. Sorry, Starbucks. This is not worth $2.78. I feel like i got to drive a Range Rover just to go get a coffee at Starbucks. Second with McDonald's. I had to get back in the truck. It's so cold out there, it froze the nuts off the Third Street Bridge. Anyway, this is going to be it. So I, I kind of knew this was coming. The McDonald's coffee has been good from day one. It's very seldom do you get a bad cup of coffee. Tim Hortons, I would say probably one out of every 40 coffees I get is an exceptional cup of coffee. Starbucks, 
come on, Starbucks. Two dollars and seventy-eight cents for this cup of coffee. I'm not quite sure what you're thinking. Now I can see if that coffee lit my taste buds on fire, but it don't. And those of you that know me, I drink a lot of coffee. And I mean a lot of coffee. So there you have it. It's going to be McDonald's. It's going to be the number one fast food chain coffee. Again, that test was between the McDonald's, the Tim Hortons, and the Starbucks. Starbucks, you're going to price yourselves out of existence. It's just the way it is. Now, in the test small town that I live in, we only have a Tim Hortons. And uh, we also have a variety store that sells coffee. I will more often than not go to the variety store that sells coffee than go to Tim Hortons. It's And I'm not trying to slam Tim Hortons. I mean, I guess I am slamming them, but I'm not meaning to. They are a Canadian icon. They've been around for 100 years. Well, not quite 100 years, but you, and like I said, you can find a Tim Hortons on pretty much every corner in Canada. So when you're in a pinch, yeah, I'll take the Tim Hortons. Would I drive any distance to go get a Starbucks? No. I will give you props, so this is a paper lid. And when I was talking about the lids on these coffees, there's the uh, Starbucks just with a hole in the top. And in the McDonald's, all you do is push that in, and your coffee won't spill. Don't flip it all the way back and latch it. Can you have a pro tip in coffee? That's a pro tip. We're going to call that a pro tip. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video, folks. I hope you got something out of that. Um, I already pretty much knew the outcome of this because I've had all this coffee before, but I thought I'd bring it to you. So if you haven't already done so, please, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. When you ring the bell, you'll get notified each and every time I upload a video. And for God's sake, please hit the thumbs up button. It helps get these videos suggested. Leave me a comment down below. I got plenty more coffee videos as well as whiskey videos. Thank you all for watching. See you on the next one. Later.